So this tree frog has been sitting on his eggs for weeks. Little bitty baby froggies. You stay safe, okay? Good morning. How is everyone? I hope you're well. Oh, I think I might have some juice on the lens. Let's get you cleaned up there. Well, I had to go to the doctor this morning, so I'm getting a little bit of a slow start. And this probably isn't the video to get into it, but like my relationship with doctors is very selective. And I went in for one of those like wellness exams that, um, you know, we, we can talk about it more later, but these wellness exams are a great way to kind of get like sucked into diagnoses of things that are going on that may or may not even be a problem. There are times when they're a really good idea, which is why I went today, and then there are times when they're not such a great idea. So anyway, before I left the house, I had my water for the morning, and I'm just gonna sip on a little bit more water. Now this is my filtered water with the mineral drops in it. Mm, it's quite tasty. So I've come home now and I have a bunch of extra kale in the refrigerator, so I thought, why don't I make myself a little bit of fresh juice, reward myself for submitting to the doctors. And I have these beautiful oranges as well. Beautiful, they taste so sweet and delicious. So I'm gonna make a little bit of juice and I thought that that could be a perfect opportunity to talk about a question that I get asked very frequently, which is, is juicing healthy? Is juicing something that I should incorporate into my regular diet? I get asked quite often about juice fasting and whether or not that's a good idea. So I thought we could address some of these questions. I'll start with juice fasting. As my videos on fasting have alluded to, I'm not a big supporter of fasting in general. So anything that that takes like the fiber rich whole plant foods out of your diet, I don't believe is the best idea. Now, if you're going through like an acute illness or something, by all means, include some fresh juice in your diet, maybe replace like one meal a day with juice and support your body in healing and detoxifying that way while you stick to whole plant foods otherwise. But as far as strict juice fasting goes, I'm not a big believer. I juice maybe once a week or once every two weeks. And I do it because I enjoy it, not because I think drinking juice as opposed to eating fresh fruits and vegetables is any healthier or provides any more access to the nutrients. And in fact, it can be the exact opposite because a lot of the nutrients that are in these whole plant foods, a lot of the phytonutrients, polyphenols, antioxidants, all that kind of stuff, they all kind of overlap into genres. A lot of those are actually bound to the fiber in the whole plant food. And that's something that studies have been finding for a little while now that you actually get a big boost in polyphenol and phytonutrient absorption when these whole plant foods go into the gut. And when they are digested by the beneficial bacteria in your gut, a lot of that nutrition is released. And that nutrition wouldn't otherwise be released or utilized in the juicing process because the fiber is removed. And remember, if there's no fiber going down the hatch, your beneficial gut bacteria are not being fed. So that's one reason why I don't like to juice too often. Another reason is that my blood sugar has been very sensitive ever since I was a teenager. I used to have very, very extreme hypoglycemia. So if I try to subsist on juice, I'll get some, some peaks and valleys in my blood sugar going. 
If I stick to whole plant foods, I don't have that issue. And so anyone who has blood sugar issues, insulin issues, anyone who's dealing with polycystic ovarian syndrome, I advise to stick to more whole plant foods than you would juice. Again, include juice in your diet from time to time. That's totally fine. It's delicious, it's enjoyable, it feels super hydrating, but I think it's incorrect to assume that juicing is somehow going to um, heal your body in a way that consistently eating whole plant foods can't. And again, I say that more in terms of like chronic issues that are long-term and ongoing. If someone's having an acute issue, by all means, include more juice in your diet, along with some whole plant foods for fiber. There's also the matter of the expense. When you juice foods, you condense them quite a bit. So, you know, I'm eating probably 10, over $10 worth of food right now and that's gonna be in one cup of fluid that is not going to sustain me for very long. And that's just sticking to my super cheap foods <laughs> that I can actually afford. Like, Lily's not juicing organic cucumbers or celery. Celery would be good though. And oftentimes when I juice, I do include fresh turmeric root juice. However, today I'm just not in the mood for the turmeric taste. I don't know, maybe my body just isn't feeling it, or maybe it's all psychological. Whatever the case, I don't feel like turmeric today, so I'm gonna skip my turmeric. I'm also asked frequently what kind of juicer I have. So, <laughs> the label fell off. I think it's an Oscar juicer or something. It's secondhand. Um, one of my massage, wonderful massage clients, um, we traded for it she just didn't use it very often so i said yeah sure i'll have it and i don't use it very often but when i do use it i i really enjoy it um and it's one of the slow auger styles so it spins really slowly and squeezes out the juice which means that everything's cold pressed it's not exposed to heat um not that i'm you know paranoid about the raw food enzyme theory or anything but i just think cold pressed juice is delicious and I enjoy it, and this is the juicer that became available to me. Had I had to buy a juicer new and pay upwards of $300 for it, I honestly don't think I would have gotten it. I think I would just continue to buy juices from the health food store every now and then. But since I have it available, this is my juicer, and I, I like it, it's good. All right, so there's the finished product. This is my juice. I'm going to save this juice for Levi when he gets home from work. I'm gonna have that green juice and then that is gonna be for Levi as well. This one last particularly beautiful orange. In addition, for breakfast, I'm gonna have some bananas. And then I have three small papayas cut up behind there. I'm going to have those as well. All right, so breakfast is done. If you want a success tip about this diet, like don't try to make pretty food because it is literally almost noon. This took me like an hour and a half. <laughs> oh God, I just want to eat. Okay, so I'm going to have my juice, my orange juice, and my breakfast. So I wasn't hungry for lunch since I ate breakfast at about lunchtime. So I'm finishing off my orange juice right now and then we're going to cook dinner. All right, here's dinner. We got the beautiful looking cucumber, carrot, and veggie explosion salad, and the tofu poke. Check that bad boy out. I got some poi there. It doesn't look super attractive, but man, is it good. All the way over there, we got some purple sweet potato and kabocha squash. That's mine. If you're following me on Instagram, you're gonna see this in like two seconds. Two seconds from now, but like, 24 hours yeah, from now. Right now. <laughs> oh, mind blown! This is some thick poi. You can eat it with chopsticks. Tofu. Poke. Mm. Dude, I'm kind of in love with my new doctor. She actually said things to me like, oh, well, with that kind of cancer risk in your family, you should make sure that you're eating a really clean diet. She's like, so as much as you can reduce meat and dairy. She said that. She said that. What is she, how was her reaction when you told her you were vegan? I said, well, I eat like plant-based vegan diet. And she's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Supportive. 
she said things like, well, I don't want to run too many tests because the more you look for, you, the more you tend to find, and we don't want you to get swept up into the medical mill. And I was really? like, did you just say that? Because that's why I had to break up with my last doctor. He wanted to pump my insurance dry, is what he wanted to do. No shit, that's what they do, dude, I know. Like, and I just shared this sucker. So come on, be the first to like it. Be the first to like it. Hold on, I'm gonna mention the first person who likes it. <laughs> Mention the first person, the first person, the first person, the first person. Nobody likes it. I'm gonna go like it. No, not you. <laughs> Somebody else. Oh my god, dude, it's been like. You're unlikable. <sighs> terrible. I posted it a minute ago and I didn't get one. You guys are breaking his heart right now. Two minutes went by and nobody liked it. It's just, this is really crap, guys. One person <gasps> liked it. Who is it? Sophie. She might not want her name oh. and stuff on there since she's private. But hey, Sophie, thanks for making Levi's night. Two minutes. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Mmm, yummy salad. Two likes. Mm -hmm. Two likes. <laughs> two likes. Two likes. Son bitch, two likes. Two likes. It's like my worst like photo ever. <laughs> Two likes. Come on, babe. No. Let me see it. No, you better not like that shit. No, stop. There you go. Oh, Two likes. God. Three likes. <laughs> Three likes. <laughs> Three likes. What the fuck? Is the internet connected? Let that go. <laughs> I knew that would get you going. <laughs> <laughs> the next person is gonna get a prize. And what prize would that be? I don't know. A 20-pound bag of moldy quinoa. It's all the way from Hawaii. Babe, just, like, give it up. It's been three minutes. I got one like. Mmm. That is so good. Oh, my God. It's so good. I'm quitting the sexy tablespoon. I'm quitting. I'm quit. <laughs> Everybody watching right now, you better go like that picture. If you haven't already. Five minutes. One like. Maybe they could smell your desperation. Think so. Back off my poi. Oh. Man, you want to get your own poi? Get your own poi. Okay. Hey. No. Wait, you want some um, garlic avocado? No, not really. Thank you. You sure? Yeah, it's I got really good. plenty of garlic in the salad. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I will check my phone again. <laughs> it's been seven minutes. It's been seven minutes since I posted this. Are you guys okay out there? Yeah, did something happen to the world? Maybe everybody's asleep. I bet that's what it is. Everybody's probably sleeping right now. It's only 7.10. Yeah, but that means that it's 10.10 <clears throat> on the Pacific coast. And it's like... Two in the morning, or three, four in the... M no, it's like two in the morning on the East Coast. Yeah, but it's like tomorrow in New Zealand already. Yeah. What's up with that New Zealand? Thought Come we on, Mary. Homies. I know you got on Instagram for this. <laughs> I thought we were homies. I thought we were, you know, part of the same New Zealand. Aotearoa. That's not what that means. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's, not, that's not what that means. In Maori, it means what the fuck. That's not what that means. It means land of the long white cloud. And it really happens. It does. Get those long clouds. You can't even see the end of them. For real? Yeah. Straight? Yeah. It just has like a shelf. It's like an edge. It's like totally blue sky, giant cloud. Like a straight edge? Yeah. Dude, I lived in New Zealand for a little while, and I was working at this tiny boutique hotel that was like also a deer farm. It was, it was both one of my favorite and my least favorite jobs. I would go for this walk, same route every day, and I'd take this trail, and then I started finding halves of bunny rabbits in the trail. Right? Just like half of a bunny rabbit. 
it was awful and I would like pick it up and throw it off the trail far away and I came back the next day and there was half of another bunny rabbit in the same exact place on that trail and I stopped taking the trail I was like well clearly someone's telling me not to take this trail and then you stopped taking it and then a forest fire broke out no nothing happened but naturally I concluded it was aliens so yummy just like that little hint of sesame oil is perfect. I know. It's just needed a teaspoon. Okay, seriously, get your own poi. I'm gonna check this. And there better be at least five likes. I'm done. No more sexy tablespoon for, for me and for you guys, from, from me, to be here. Yeah? You guys know what I mean. 15 likes. That's good. You wanna see who the, the next person's gonna be? You wanna you know, play a game to see if it's a guy or a girl? It's a girl. I'm pretty sure only girls follow you. No, no. A couple guys and a few dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy. It's a pirate hat. Which dog is that? Jasmine March? No, you can't just be blowing up people's names on, oh, on cool. YouTube. Oh, cool. She's a naturopathy student. This dog makes me happy. There it is. This is undercarriage. Show the doggy. That's the doggy. It makes me happy. <laughs> I will let you know if I don't finish this. But we're gonna go. And thank you so much for watching. That is everything I ate in the entire day. Even though I skipped lunch, it was still a fair amount. <laughs> I mean, I didn't skip you lunch. You skipped lunch? I didn't skip lunch. I just ate breakfast so late that it turned into lunch. You skipped lunch? No, I ate breakfast late because I had to How go to the doctor. How much meals did you have today? Two. You skipped one meal. I know. It wasn't good. It was the doctor's fault. Anyway. <laughs> you didn't even eat your tofu. Stop! I'm saving it until last because it's my favorite. And my, the poi is my favorite. It's all my favorite. If you're enjoying these what I eat in a day, give me a thumbs up. Questions and comments go down below. Hey, let me know if you believe in aliens. Oh, Achoo. and if you want to see how we made all this, you're going to have to go over and visit us at the Sexy Tablespoon in case you didn't already know. It'll be linked. I think you got some uh, pumpkin on you. Something. Thanks, pumpkin. So until next time, make better choices for yourselves. No one else is going to do it for you. And take really, really good care. I will see you guys soon.